Hi, it's Therese and I'm back to assemble my card for Alter New now. I've got a piece of peach cardstock and I'm just cutting it down so there's a white border on my card. I've run it through an embossing folder which is the Next Level Geometric. It's a We Are Memory Keepers one. And now I've got the flowers that I stamped in my previous video so I'll link that here or below so that you can get to that. But I just was a video showing how to stamp out this peony bouquet set and I had heaps of fun doing that. And I also um, die cut them with the matching dies. So basically here I'm just working out um, my basic bouquet layout. And I just love the fact that there's this little white border around the flowers and the leaves. It means I can use this dark background and it's going to stand out. And by having the white border around the edge of the card as well, it just brings it all together. So once I'm happy with how I want that, I'm going to work out um, my sentiment now. Work on my sentiment now, I should say. And I'm going to be white embossing. It's one of the sentiments from the Bottle Full Of set and it's, I just love the font in this set. It's just so much fun because some of the letters are actually coloured in. <laughs> so I thought this would be uh, a real sweet little sentiment to pop on the front of this card. And then I can kind of use it for a lot of different occasions too. It could be a wedding card, it could be a birthday card, um, even a thank you card. And once I've hit that with my heat tool, I can just cut this down, uh, leaving a small border around the edge. Okay, so here's something I do want to share with you. If your layering, stamp layering, doesn't stamp out perfectly, it's easy enough just to grab a matching pencil, one of the deepest colors that you've used, and literally just fill in the gaps. <laughs> With the pencil so I know it's kind of a little bit like cheating but you know if you want if you're a real perfectionist then this is just one way to get around the fact that you might not have stamped it perfectly and then you're not wasting your product or all that stamping that you have done so I'm going to pop this panel up and for a bit of support I've just got a piece of cardstock I'm adhering to the back of that and then I've got some foam squares I don't know why I didn't go with the fun foam today. I just obviously didn't feel like it. So I'll just attach this to the front of my, and it's a top fold card and the finished size of my card, it's uh, 15 by 10 and a half centimeters. And then I can start assembling my bouquet and I should have taken a photo. I had to do this from memory and I don't think I went too bad, but I just used a variety of different levels of foam. There's uh, some one millimeter foam. It's like a uh, adhesive foam. And I also used these Zot Dots and they're not quite as sticky initially as the glue dots are. So they're a little bit forgiving. And if you don't press down too hard on them, you can actually move them around. So I've got things sitting there <laughs> with glue on the back of them, but not actually putting any pressure on them until I'm ready to commit. I also used some two millimeters uh, thick foam as well, some adhesive foam behind the largest flower. So that sat up quite a little bit higher. So I also popped up the sentiment and as a final touch, I decided to add some sequins and I'm just using some multi map medium to attach those and that's my card done for today thanks for joining me i'll link the peony bouquet stamping video below if you're interested in seeing how i stamp out these flowers until next time happy paper crafting bye